I am a GovCon expert. I'm an expert in government contracting. I struggle just the same as anybody else to find the right NACE codes, the right keywords, whatever. And so um, it's about following the process and you'll get to your desired goal at the end. All right, so in here, just a reminder, if you're not familiar with what a NACE code is, basically I like to say it's like bananas, right? It's a, um, uh, it's a code that goes towards the bananas and a bigger code tells me it's banana farming or something. Well, in the government, it's the same thing. 541, 512 is software development, let's say. It's just a way for the government to know what you sell. Instead of using words, they use numbers. Um, there's some other information, but it really doesn't matter on the rest of it. You can watch the whole videos in the course later. So the initial uh, um, direction when you sit there and do something is you want to make sure you're writing down high level keywords, right? Here I used a, a, a previous company. Actually, before I started the GovCon Chamber, I was starting a fifth company called SV MacPack. And I, and I still use that email for those of you who see that, but um, I stopped all of that to, to do the chamber. And when I did it though, these were my three keywords that I was using. Um, so you wanna have these high level bullets. So then when you go searching for NAICS, you know what to refer back to. So let's go ahead and, and uh, go into some of my recommendations. One of my favorite places to go is competitive uh, competitors and see what NAICS codes they use. And I can show you how to do that in a second. And then another place I like to go is, um, let me move forward here, is FPDS, which is now betasam.gov. And inside of there, you can see contracts that have been awarded. And if I sub, in, in the in the words I'm looking for today are, are around video production, right? Camera work, something like that. And um, going into FPDS, betasam.gov, I'm able to see contracts that were awarded that I wish I won and see what NAICS codes they use and, and move forward. And then the other one is um, FBO. So that's in betasam.gov as well now. And that is just where new opportunities are coming out. And I can go in there and see what NAICS codes did they use? Do they use when they're looking for um, video production as an example? And then, um, and then, so let's do this. Okay, let's go ahead and go into um, these tabs and start exploring dynamic small business search and beta SAM. And then we can look at the Census Bureau who's got the actual list of NAICS. But the first place I'll start is um, the dynamic small business search. The fastest way for me to do my research is to actually look for um, a company that is doing this type of work, right? So right here, you've got keywords. I would just come in and type in video. Uh, oh, let's try video production, actually, just to give us a little bit more. Video production, I hit search. And right away, I'm getting a lot of companies come back, right? 1,100 companies, it's way more than I need. And, and uh, so I'm going to research this. I'm just going to look really quick and see what I see. These guys are a marketing firm. They do some stuff. Um, I'm going to bypass them. This next one's even better, the video, full service video. So I'm going to, I'm going to open up a new window for them, a new tab. Next one is waste. This is funny. I, I did video production and the third company to come up is a dedicated to the water and waste industry. I don't know what else they do, but uh, as a buyer or market researcher, and I see that I just move on. Same with the next company. It's custom furniture. Um, okay. So this next one says video production. I'm going to open them. Uh, this one is uh, countering, I don't even care. I'm just moving on. I'm looking for something that just makes it really good. Sprinty Productions is a full-fledged company. I'm assuming producers, directors, that's perfect. That's looks similar. Global media didn't say a lot. If you don't have a big um, uh, narrative, then I'm just going to skip you as well or skip this company. Holistic, this is digital marketing. Um, they, they, well, video production, I guess I'll stick with it. Um, and then let me find one more. Uh, producing content. These guys get a bigger write-up. Let's see what they got. <clears throat> Business has something television, full service multimedia production company. Okay, so let's stick with that. Um, all right, so this first one, I don't need to dwell too far on it. What I'm looking for is their NAICS codes. So right here, the the company I'm, who called me, they already had uh, 512 110. Let me write that down really quick so I start creating this list, right? So I got 512 110 on my paper here in front of me. The next one is other motion video industry. That makes sense. Just, you know, it's something related. Don't overthink this. The government will sometimes put your services or your products in a different NAICS than you intend. You know, don't look at this and go, well, it belongs in 512.110. Yeah, it doesn't matter where it belongs. It matters where they might find you. Um, graphic design services, I might just write that down. This is creating a list of potential ones. And what I'll do is match them up 
against what I see the government putting. So here, this is what this company put in. I'm gonna to come to this next one. I'm, again, I'm not looking at the details of a lot of stuff. Um, promoter of performing arts, sports and similar events. Nah, that looks a little uh, different. Motion picture, we already got that. Convention trade show organizer. Um, I might put that one down just for a recommendation of these people to consider because maybe they do video production and maybe if the government's looking for video production of an event, they just put it under this snakes, right? So that one looks fine to me. Other performing art, I'll skip. Independent artists, writers, and performers. Um, well, video production people, they're creative and, and they're artists. So I'm just gonna put this down for a second. Uh, 711 510, if you're watching that. 510, and then, <laughs> then funeral homes and funeral services is not a match. Um, okay, so let me come down here. Here you go. So this company's got a lot more. Let's see what they got. So we've got the 512-110, uh, teleproduction and other post-production. That one's not on my list. Uh, no, it's not on my list. So I'm going to put it on 191. That looks good. Sound recording studio. Like, again, um, somebody might choose that NAICS. A government buyer might choose that NAICS when they're looking for <clears throat> post-production or something, whatever it is. So I'm going to choose that. Um, and the reason, by the way, I want these NAICS is not necessarily that I care about them, but I want to make sure that these NAICS are in my small business profile. That way, if the government is looking for a small business who does what I do, um, woman-owned firm, let's say, and um, and they look on this NAICS, they search on a particular NAICS, well, I want to come up in the results. Um, so don't worry about having too many NAICS codes in your profile. You can have a lot in there. On your capability statement, you would just put, let's say, five or 10 um, of the of the best. Okay, so I just looked at 191 at the top there, sound recording I did, re record production and distribution. Um, I might put it down just so it's there. I don't even know if anybody has records anymore. Um, and so again, I'll compare this against what folks have. Data processing, libraries, graphic design, 54130, uh, 430. That graphic design service, I might try that one. 541430. I put that one down because that might be, um, they might look at the graphics that go into a video to make it a full production video rather than just the camera recording of it. So media represent, representatives, photography studio, we already have that 921. I thought we did, um, we don't. 541921, I might put that in, 541921 because um, that was so close to video, right? It's portrait. I know it's portrait, but somebody could easily come in and just go, well, let's just use that one. Um, and then commercial photography, I'll definitely put that one in, 541922. Convention and trade show organizers, I think we already had that one, and independent artists we had. Okay, that's that guy. And let's come down and just look at a couple more really quick. Um, marketing consulting services. That actually is I don't know if I have that 541. Okay, we got that from somebody else. Great. Um, the 110 we've got, the administrative, we don't care, we don't care, we don't care. Okay, the other ones. So I'm looking at these competitors. That's what I'm trying to show you here, right? Is I'm looking at these competitors and seeing what they have. Um, so motion picture, graphic design, we have that. Marketing consultant, we have. Public relations agencies, 541820. Um, I'm going to put it down. Just I, I know you might not be an agency, the, this company I'm doing this for. Um, just helping them out, but it's good to have it on there. 922, we have professional development training. So these guys said that they do some training as well related to the video training. So I'm going to put that down, 430, and, um, and that's it. So that training one, by the way, I'm not going to use two words in this video, but I would come back and do the exact same exercise that you just saw me do in there. So let's, uh, let me go ahead and close that. Let's go into Sam here, beta Sam, whatever. Um, okay, so let's take a look at this uh, beta Sam where I'm gonna look for opportunities that relate to it. And, and I don't really care about the dates at the moment. I don't care that they're all this month, this year. What I'm really looking for is uh, the relevance to what I just typed, video production. So here's American Memorial production. I'll click on that one. Um, that's out of Sci Saipan. Um, so multiple awards schedule. I don't care about that. I want something that's just really interpretive videos, um, communication transformation support. That looks interesting. Multiple award, don't care about those. Let me go faster. Um, 
Come on. It's funny, if you don't hit it correctly, you just, you're stuck. Um, so VHA, Veterans Health Administration, uh, effective communication access, too many words. Um, just looking for the right thing. There you go. Red River Army story video. Okay, so let's look at these really quick. Um, in these, as I look down, I want to see if they're what I'm looking for. And I won't have you read all of them in this particular one. But um, the purpose of this contract is to provide post-production narration, subtitles, etc. cetera. Um, that fits into what we're doing. So where's the next code right here? 512.110. I look down, I've got it on my list. Um, and I just move on to the next one. So then here I'm looking at uh, the next code is 561.210, uh, which is an interesting thing. I, I just feel like this is totally unrelated. How did I get here? Um, so this advanced management and related technical services, they might have video production in there, but I'm going to skip it for the moment because um, that's just too much. I'm not really looking for that. So here is the National Historical Site Interpretive Videos. It's 512.110. I can skip them. I don't even have to look at it for long. Come down here again. It's 512.110. Now I'm not even looking at the titles, right? I already looked at the titles. Looks like we're pretty consistent about that 512.110, right? And you see me verify it, 512.110 right there. Um, so you see me verify it with each of these folks. One last thing I'm gonna do is over on, um, over on the census site, census.gov, you can find in here um, keywords. If you just type in, let's try, can't type video productions, video production, that's good enough. Um, so, now I'm just comparing it against what I have. 512.110 is the only one that popped up on the, oops. Nope, they snuck another one in here. And then 512.199, do I have that? I do. So based on the list with competitors and based on the quick research, you saw how I took less than an hour, right? For, for this video, it's really 10 or 15 minutes. But if you had done this, it'd be less than an hour. And you came up with um, the number of NAICS codes I have here it's about 15, right? So I would put all those in my um, in my SAM profile. So they're just there. And if anybody's searching on those, they're unfound. And then I'll take the five most important ones and just put those on my capability statement. So when I'm giving it out to a small business specialist or contracting officer, they look at that and they go, oh, you do 512.110. Perfect. That's what we're looking for. 